The Finch Lane Gallery, which is part of Salt Lake City Arts Council, holds exhibitions throughout the entire year, and artists throughout the state of Utah are welcome and eligible to apply for an exhibition here. It's a formalized process where artists have to submit 10 images of their work, a resume, and an artist statement, and then also a slight identification list on either a DVD slash CD or some kind of thumb drive so that we have um, a record of that information. Those applications get turned into me and I in turn disseminate that information out to our jury of seven members that includes current board members, past board members, visual artists, and people who are very familiar with the arts community. The jury is the one that makes the selection about which artists will be um, on exhibition or selected to show their work. And it's a fairly, it's, well, it's not even a fairly competitive, it's a very competitive process. We'll have anywhere between 60 to 90 applications a year, and we have about 10 to 15 artists each year that are selected. But there's no fee to apply. Artists, again, from across the state are eligible to apply. They don't have to be residents of Salt Lake City just because it's in a venue in Salt Lake City. The best and the strongest applications are generally artists who, in their 10 images, show the same kind of theme with variations of it. So for example, if you're, if you're working in two-dimensional art and you're doing landscape, then you would show the jury 10 different types of landscapes, rather than showing a painting of a landscape, a ceramic pot, a piece of textile, um, and maybe another type of medium. It's better to show depth than variety in your work because um, the jury gets a sense to see that you have the skills to complete 10 images in a similar style with a consistent quality. Because if we're going to have an exhibition of work, we want to know that you as an artist have the ability to create the works that can, can be consistently shown throughout. So applications need to be submitted to our office either by mail or by uh, by hand delivery in person. We ask that the submissions come in on a flash drive or a CD. We don't take email applications, mostly because of the amount of data that would be coming through our internet would kind of clog up the system. So we ask for a physical um, flash drive or CD. You don't need to submit paper copies of your resume or artist statement or anything like that. We'll take care of that. Artists that live within the state of Utah are eligible to apply. You don't have to be a resident of Salt Lake City to be considered. And we also ask that artists who have had solo exhibitions here within the last three years that they not apply so that we give more artists an opportunity to have an exhibition here. We also encourage people to um, put together a group exhibition. For example, say someone is a sculptor and they want to work with a two-dimensional artist and someone who does photography as well, so they might put together a group application, which is perfectly acceptable. We only, we only want six images from each artist for a group show. And people who do curated exhibitions are certainly welcome to propose an idea and a theme and the supporting materials for a curated exhibition here as well. Once we received all of the submissions for the exhibitions, I put together um, a flash drive that goes out to each of the jury members. There are seven of them. And I also put together a book with all of the um, information about for each application. Those get sent out about a month in advance so that the jurors have a chance to look through things um, and read artist statements and get familiar with the information. And then we meet together as a jury and make those selections. So again, out of 60 to 90 applications, we'll choose 12 to 15 for the next calendar year. My job at that point is to take all of the artists that have been selected by the jury and put them into a calendar of who is going to exhibit when and with whom. And I base that on several different things. I'll look at the works that have been selected, try and find some natural fits in theme and content and where the works are going to look visually really well together. I also consider our own calendar of events that we have that happen here at the Finch Lane Gallery because I know sometimes we're going to have to set up chairs and tables and I won't be able to have sculpture around. So I take all of those things into consideration and then I set the calendar for the for the um, exhibition year, and then I notify artists. So by the time someone submits an application until they actually get notified, it could take a couple of months just 
to get the information to the jury, then make the decision as to when things will be calendared in the exhibition schedule. I communicate with anyone who's applied to us. Everyone will get a letter, whether it's a rejection letter or a congratulatory letter. I usually call the congratulatory artists who have been accepted and let them know that a letter will be coming in a couple of weeks when I have the schedule set. An artist that's selected could have their work shown within six months or up to 18 months from the time frame of when they've been selected to show, again, based on our calendar. Um, artists who show here have their work up for about six to seven weeks. We have an opening reception. It usually covers one or two gallery strolls. But we like to have the ex exhibitions up for six or seven weeks because an artist works a long time and it's um, just very labor intensive to put together an exhibition and we want to have as much time as possible. If we changed exhibitions out every three weeks to give more artists opportunities or try and meet with a gallery stroll schedule, we feel like we're not giving artists enough opportunity to really showcase the work that they've spent perhaps several years putting together. The Salt Lake City Arts Council will pay an honorarium of $150 per each artist that is selected to exhibit here. That is paid at the end of the exhibition. It doesn't come in advance to help with material costs. Um, we also take a 30% commission for works that are sold. Um, in the event that someone curates or puts together a group exhibition, the person who organized it would receive the honoraria, but not each artist that's in that group show. I encourage people to apply for the process. I realize that not everyone is going to have an exhibition, but it's a really great tool for, the art, for artists to learn that process of applying for exhibitions and the details that need to go in that because there are other places that they can apply as well. I'm also very happy to work with artists. Um, if they give me their contact information, I keep lists of artists and when I get calls for entries from other organizations, I send that call out and say, here's another opportunity for artists. And so connecting with me, um, I will be happy to share that information. Anyone who applies here, whether they're accepted or not, I put them on that list so that they continue to get information. But it's a good practice experience to apply. The details about the application, what really needs to be on that flash drive or thumb drive to be submitted, is at our website, which is www.saltlakearts.org.